We are on the advent of a range of exciting new technologies that are gonna dramatically improve how we do business and how we live all aspects of our lives. By 2030, there's gonna be an exciting future as technology helps to transform our lives. So, 10 years time, we might be able to turn on and turn off parts of our brain like we do a mobile phone. We're gonna have much, much more efficient cities and houses with machines sending huge amounts of information to each other. The Internet of Things is an amorphous term that really refers to the ubiquitous emplacement of computing power in all sorts of objects that are then connected wirelessly over the Internet. Everything from all of your household devices, your cars, even your medicines, even you. In the future, I think we're going to see widespread applications of artificial intelligence, to collect and communicate and operate those multitude of devices that are interconnected. There's going to be more conversation going on between machines and from human beings. With the increase of devices, this increases the port of entry for cyber attack. So it only takes one insecure port for somebody to enter an entire network. They are primarily designed for functionality, not for security. And what we're talking about is going to be millions, if not billions, of devices that are emplaced in our expanded internet ecosystem by individuals who purchase them, by individuals who install them at their company or their home. But all these individuals aren't security professionals and experts in managing these devices. Take a company that's got a coffee machine. That coffee machine is connected to the internet so that it can reorder coffee for itself. It's also connected to everybody else in the building because it needs to know what sort of coffee they like. If that device weren't properly secured and maintained, there could be the possibility for a malicious actor to move laterally from that device to other corporate computers or infrastructure like the air conditioning system. So if somebody can get in via the poorly protected part of the network, you could get onto the internal computer network and extract documents. If insurers are aware of the dangers and complexities of these new technologies, then they can start to prepare to offer the customers the services that they need to protect them against these particular risks. Businesses will be carrying much, much more insurance and insurances of a sort that they actually haven't thought about up until now. The Lloyds Market can help um, make companies more aware of the risks and they would be interested in the risk management approach taken by companies to control them. We need those financial products to complement better technical defences in order to realise the full potential and societal gains from all these exciting new innovations.